How are we to know God's moral commands? Well, we have a book. Well, if you read the book as a moral guidebook, does that mean we should condemn gay marriage and condone slavery? That's what it says we're supposed to do. I doubt anybody here would condone slavery. Is that your experience, Dr. Josh? That no one on the internet would condone slavery? Oh, how I wish that were the case. Unfortunately, this has not been my experience, particularly of late. But this mentality is certainly the one that I had when I started talking about this topic on social media. My thought was, okay, I'll show them that the type of slavery that was endorsed in the laws of the Old Testament was actual slavery. And they will say, oh, well, I need to rethink the way that I'm understanding the Bible. Instead, it is becoming more and more common for me to hear, oh, well, I guess slavery must be moral. If God's perfect law endorsed it, then maybe slavery in and of itself is not a bad thing to do.